hello everyone welcome back to my channel and another video so it has been a long 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 time um since i sat down and filmed a video for this channel there's been so much going on um you know i've been busy and i've been really unwell with my health um and yeah so i thought um you know i've been filming my food diaries and um you know i always enjoyed um doing that and found that it kept me on track um so i thought i would jump on and do a video just saying hi and catching you up and you know all that jazz really so yeah i think it was about six months ago um june or july um that i last made a video um so thank you to everyone who stuck with me um say subscribe to the channel you know has checked in on me um said hello um and seen if i'm okay you know it really does mean the world to me um, we might be getting interrupted, so um, I'll go on to that in a second. Um, so, yeah, um, that, again, like I said, it does mean a lot to me. So, since June, July time, um, you know, things have gone downhill for me with my health. Um, you know, I'm sort of in a lot of pain all the time. I've been back and forth to um, the hospital, to the doctors, trying different medications. Um, and yeah, it's still not great. Um, they're sort of trying to sort my meds out at the moment. Um, and I've just, I'm in absolute agony with my right hand side. Um, so this is Tyrion. Come here. He's gonna bang the phone now. I couldn't find my, um, yes I know. I couldn't find my other um, tripod, so I'm just using the one that goes on the... Yes, I know. Everybody loves you, I know. So, yeah, this is Tyrion. This is our pup. Well, he's eight months old now. Um, he's a staffy. His name is Tyrion. Um, Game of Thrones, um, Tyrion Lannister. And he's just so loving, as you can see. He loves to kiss, loves to give kisses. Um... I wasn't talking about you yet, but, you know, he just likes to be the centre of attention. Um, you know, he can be a little bit of a handful. Um, like I say, he's about nine months now. Um, and, you know, it's been it's been so lovely. It's been hard work, um, especially with me being ill um, and my health and everything. But, you know, we've sort of worked out and we got to a place where, um, you know, we both wanted another dog and, you know, we were really missing out. Excuse this bit of hair. Um, I've had a haircut today and it's just, yeah, <laughs> um, and we both wanted another dog and we wanted a Staffy because, you know, all, I love all dogs, like all dogs or puppies, you know, I just gravitate towards them. Um, but for me, Staffies hold a special place in my heart. So we got him when he was about 10 or 11 weeks old, um, and he's a tiny little thing and now he's just huge um but um he's still got a bit of growing to do and he's you know he's so, such good company um he's chewing on his toy but there now but um yeah so that sort of jumped in there because he came and jumped by the camera um but yeah so um i can't walk him because of my health um you know i find it really difficult to walk you know further than just a few steps um piece of hair is really getting on my nerves sorry um uh i have two walking sticks now which i use um and i also have a wheelchair now um which i've had to get because it's just too much of a struggle if i'm going out um you know going up shopping around the shops if it's asda's or morrison's places like that it's fine because they have the um electric scooters that you can just go around on and that makes things a lot lot easier but for places that i want to go you know if, if we're going out anyway like i don't know like aldi's or b&m home bargains you know places like that where you know i like to have a nice look um at different things and just have a little bit of a browse um but now i've got the wheelchair um you know things like that are much easier so i can go and i'm not worrying about my legs and different things and my back 
so yeah it's not great but I'm you know I'm still plodding on I took a bit of a break from Slimming World just because I was finding things so difficult um, you know going back and forth to classes and my anxiety got really bad at a point where I just couldn't go out of the house you know I don't go out of the house much anyway um, because you know I can't walk very far on things and I won't go out on my own um, and that's obviously to do with my anxiety but um, it got to a point sort of over the summer and especially after we had Tyrion it got to a point where you know if I went sort of out into the back garden that was a bit you know that was a bonus um, but you know that's a bit better now I still have struggles but um, yeah so I took a little break from Simon World and then it come to about I think it was October I think yeah it was October time beginning of October um, you know I really missed the class that I was originally in um, um, with my consultant, my original consultant from 2007, you know, what is that now, 12 years ago, um, you know, and I just thought that I need to get back into that environment. Yes, yeah, difficult for me with my health and different things, but you know, my best friend goes there, my mom goes there, you know, I know people, um, and you know, it gets me out of the house. So I had a chat with my parents, and because like my husband works, um, you know, they said that you know they'll come up on because my group day is a Tuesday, um, they'll come up on the Tuesday in the morning, and um. They'll come up in the on the Tuesday. They'll drop me down to the class, and then my husband can pick me up after work. So that's all going great. So I've been going back since I've been going there since October, um, and I'd lost. I'd still kept off something like I think it was nearly three stone, um, that I kept off. And so I was I was really pleased with that because I was thinking that it was going to be a lot worse. Um, but um, yeah, so I lost a stone quite quickly. Um, and that was, I think that was by the end of October, I think I'd lost over a stone, um, which I was really, really happy with. Um, I got slimmer of the month that month. Um, and uh, what did I do then? Yeah, we went on holidays. Um, to the Harry Potter studios, surprise, surprise. Um, and um, that was only the weekend. We went with my brother and sister-in-law. And then we came back. And um, since then, I've sort of been hovering around the same weight. Christmas was um, in between as well, Christmas and New Year. Um, and yeah, you know, I wasn't able to, I've, I've been able to go for a few weeks. But my consultant understands, you know, due to my health, I'll be there. Um, you know, unless I physically can't walk, um, you know, not even a few steps kind of thing. So um, after Christmas, I didn't go in, in the Christmas break because I was just too ill. Um, but I went in um, the week after Christmas and I gained three pounds. So I hadn't been since, um, I think it was like the week before Christmas. So, you know, I was fine with that. Christmas and New Year and everything in between. And then the week after, um, it was Star Week, which I was gutted about because I knew that, you know, I always hold some sort of fluid either before or after. And it obviously happened on that day. Um, so I gained a pound, which I wasn't happy with. I'd been bang on plan um, all week, you know. Um, and then this week then, so it is Thursday today, and it is the 17th of January. So I weighed in on Tuesday, and I lost three pounds. So my Christmas gain is gone. Um, I'm hoping now that this week, um, when I weigh on Tuesday, that my um, Star Week, Star Week, gain will be gone. Obviously I'd like more, but you know, with my health being so bad, I'm just keeping an eye on things and you know if I wasn't doing Slimming World if I wasn't you know keeping an eye on things then you know things could go down that slippery slope again and I really don't want to do that so yeah I've got my new books my new pack um 
uh, I don't know what does everybody else think of it I think it's really good um you know I think it's, it's obviously more up to date with things um and you know the new new part of the plan it have extra healthy a um you know i was really happy about that because i love cheese um so you know if i can have as you know for example a spaghetti bolognese and i can have an extra 40 grams of cheese on me so i can double up you know that's less to me <laughs> um so yeah i'm you know i'm i'm fine with all this you know not that much has changed you know in my opinion yeah, there's things like, you know, there's sin values and, you know, different things have changed as be choices. The soups thing is really good. Um, you know, just a tin of soup now. Um, they've taken it off be choices, but they're incorporating the free food. Um, and like for me, you know, I've got a couple of the Slimming World meals in the freezer and I always try to batch cook. So I've always got something that I can, you know, take out of the freezer. Um but you know having a tin of soup i had a tin of um chicken noodle soup the other day and that was one and a half cents for the whole tin and i think you know especially for people who work um people who are busy you know mums you know and anybody who has you know health issues you know similar to mine you know not being able to stand not being able to cook that sort of thing um but you want to stay on plan and to me that is the main thing the main thing is staying on track staying on plan and um you know having those tools to do that so yeah you know i've got a few other soups in the cupboard i have the reduced sugar tomato soup um i think that is two and a half cents i will double check but um yeah you know they really they are quite low you know obviously if you go for cream of tomato cream of mushroom you know then you're gonna have slightly higher but i think if they're only up to about four cents something like that but definitely worth a check um you know there's the different things that are in you i really like the new book um and um yeah just really enjoying the plan really enjoying the food um that i'm having and um you know just trying to get back into the swing of things um i've purchased um when was it beginning of this week um i've been wanting one for ages but it's like a pressure it's called a pressure king pro but it's like um an electric pressure cooker um and it does like 20 things in one um i may do a separate video on that um just to sort of ease myself back into things um but um yeah i've i've only cooked one thing in it so far um just because i'm a bit I'm a bit nervous, but I'm sure it'll be fine. I cooked broccoli in it last night to go with my, um, I made the sloppy joe pasta um, out of the magazine. And I cooked some broccoli. It was just frozen bro broccoli. Um, and I done it all. And it was it was so much easier than having to, you know, fill up a pan with water, put, carry it over to the hob, you know, and that's where I struggle with carrying things. And especially since my right side has been flared up. Um and then putting it in waiting for it to boil and everything is just like put the water in the pressure cook a bit put that in put it in and just leave it and then it does it and it was perfect um so yeah i'm gonna do some more veg in it tonight and then tomorrow i think i might do some boiled eggs because you can do like batch cooking boiled eggs and things so you know it takes a lot of the guesswork out and for me it's just making i'm looking for you know things that can make my life easier um so yeah i'm really looking forward to get into um get into know and understand how that works and making meals and things and i'll definitely share that with you um and maybe do a review in a few months once i've had a chance to use it um what else i don't think there's much else really to share so at the moment with my weight loss wise i'm on i'm on three stone ten pounds lost um you know yeah i was up over five stone lost but you know things could be a lot worse than what they are um you know i'm really not well and i've got to take that into consideration and as my con lovely consultant said to me the other day when i was there not this week last week you know and i was saying that um you know i was there and saw that as a positive and you know she said you know every time you step foot outside the door is a positive for you because you know it's true it takes so much for me to just walk out of the door 
um, and go to these places. So yeah, three stone, ten pound lost. I need four pounds to get back to my four stone. Um, but I'm just taking it slow. You know, I'm not in any rush. I just want to make sure that, you know, I'm eating healthily and you know where those times where, you know, I can't go to class or um. I can't cook something or whatever then that's okay and I really need to take care of myself so you know I've learned that a lot over the last six months asking for help and asking um not asking but sort of talking to myself and saying look you know you need to slow down um so yeah um I'd be happy with any losses going forward um you know yeah I would like a pound next week only because I want my um the the all the gains gone so then you know i'm back into sort of fresh territory then so then the next loss i have will take me one step closer to regaining those goals and you know i'm not putting any pressure on myself i'm just doing it taking a day but taking it day by day step by step and meal by meal even and hour by hour <laughs> we just want, want to get sort of right down to be precise but um yes yeah, it's, it's been hard but, you know, I've been watching everyone's videos where I can. And like I said, thank you so much for everyone who stuck with me. Um, you know, it really does mean a lot. And if you've just come across this video, you know, hi. Um, you know, my name is Vicky and this is my my channel, Vicky's World. And, you know, I'm slowly easing myself back into making videos. You know, if you've got um, a, health pro pro a health problem like me, I've got fibromyalgia. Um, you know, I've got anxiety depression you know and other things you know it's not just about slimming world um this is you know my life basically um but yeah so i'm gonna be uploading my um food diaries as well i have been doing them since um the new year so i'll try and put them on sort of i'll stagger them so they don't all come at once um but yeah so <clears throat> thanks so much for watching um you know clicking on this video um you know it's been a long time but you know it does help and i know you know it can sound a bit i don't know cheesy but it does it does really help and it helps me and it gives me something to do and something to focus on and especially when i'm having those really bad days you know having to edit a photo uh, edit a video um you know put my photos on instagram because i do also have an instagram which i'll link in the description um and you know doing that it gives me something to do um and when the pain is at its worst and i'm lying in bed i can still do because i do all my editing on my phone you know i haven't got any fancy software or anything um but um you know i can do that and i can keep you guys up to date and you know any video ideas that you've got, anything that you'd like me to talk about, you know, if you'd like me to go into more detail. I am at some point going to be doing um, a video on my fibromyalgia and my sort of journey with that. Um, it's just that, you know, things have been up in the air the last six months. So, yeah, that's it. So thank you so much for watching um, and thank you so much for your support. It does mean a lot to me from the bottom of my heart. It really does. Um, so yeah and if you've not subscribed already um the subscribe button's down here somewhere uh, this side or this side um press that button come along my journey with me we can support each other through whether it's weight loss or um health issues or whatever it is we can support each other and um yeah so thanks so much again i'm rambling now so i'm gonna go and i will see you all in my next one bye everyone